so another thing that uh, people asked about, because I, <laughs> I happened to bring it up, was how I get legs in off the padlock. Okay, I'm not going to rip him today. He's, he drove really long distance and his hip flexors kill. Um, but so I'm not going to do a typical smash dom <laughs> uh, thing as much as people are asking for that now. <laughs> they said just paint the concrete and said, believe me, these are hard enough right now because it's 30 degrees, 30 degrees out here right now. And uh, it hurts. I actually did a head grand beat and I regret doing it um, <laughs> because I'm just going here. Boom. Here. Okay. So, oh, these mats are so hard because it's so cold in here. <laughs> so, okay. So how do I get the padlock in? Um, most people's turtles suck, frankly. I just learned from like a ninth degree black belt. He's actually, so he's a coral belt or whatever. Maybe he's eighth degree. Uh, the other day. Um, how he does turtle, and I can't break his turtle, but believe me, most people, that's not the case. Their elbows aren't good enough. You're gonna get in. But let's just say it's your typical guy in the gym, and he's got what we refer to as active toes. So turn sideways. If he's got active toes like this, this pulling thing to the side, it's nowhere near as right where you uh, to pull people to their sides and stuff. If he's this way, then it's easier for me to pull him to his hip, okay? Now, this is the same thing in wrestling, by, by the way. This is wrestling. This position, you end up here all the time, right? And I'm like, my channel is about, you know, how, how different are these sports really? Clearly, the guard is something that you don't do in wrestling. But a lot of these other positions, standing to takedowns, this position, me being on top, that's why wrestlers are tough when they come into jujitsu because they're used to these positions. Him on the bottom, if he wants to get out of there, not going to his back, that's it. That's a thing that doesn't translate. But he doesn't want me in here of a wrestler. He doesn't want me in here, right? And so he's gonna be blocking this off. And I'm used to having to deal with that. And so one thing I do is depending, so he's got, he's got a few options, right? If he sits way back here and makes it hard for me to get my knee under his hips, then I, then I have to take away his arms usually because, you know, and so, but in jujitsu or judo, if he goes to turtle, because he's when judo, he, he only has to do this for like 20 something seconds and he's out. But in jujitsu, they could stay like this forever and it's kind of frustrating. So people get frustrated and they try to come to the front, front headlock them. And if this guy's a wrestler, then I might give up a take, I might give up a reversal to side control if that happens. So, so what I do when they're like this is if, get, get your elbows in, is I start digging, dude. And if his elbows are down there, I'm in. If his elbows are up real high like this, it's even harder. So I have to use a few different things. Let's turn the other way. I have to now, uh, this way. I have to use, uh, move forward just a little bit. Okay, I wanna use my knee under, now this is straight up wrestling. Okay, because in wrestling, remember on my, my stand-up video how I said I never want him underneath there? Right, and you start in wrestling like this and then guys are gonna clamp in and they're gonna start trying to work under here. I get to this position so easily in jujitsu because people don't, if they haven't wrestled, they don't think about this. Now that I'm underneath, I can bump him forward. His elbows, even if they are pinned in and close to him, I'm in, I'm, in. I'm getting in, okay? One way or another. And, I, cause I can, I can tr start applying a tremendous amount of force now. Cause I've got, I'm under his hips now. So I have more of like an inside like position. And I use a combination of things. So I will use a gut wrench, like which is what you use in freestyle and Greco, because my, my goal, turn all the way around. The goal is if I can get up underneath his hips, I can get the padlock. Once I get the padlock, I can start twisting it to the outside and I can get my knee in front of his knee. I'll show you from the front. I can twist it out and I can get legs in, okay? And if I stay under his arms here, He's not gonna get to his back that easily. And even if he does, this isn't the worst position in the world. There's a ton of stuff that people do from jujitsu in this position. But I, if I stay under here and I start getting wrist control and stuff, I can come up on top, which is what I always do. Cause I want, this position for me is money. This is, I choke people from here constantly. Cause you know, putting them flat on their face, they've got nothing, nothing. And I love that position. So if somebody, does uh makes the mistake or if i can roll them you know to the to the face especially in the gi because i i will use that gi and i will put all my weight in uh do the power half nelson all that stuff okay so so i want my knee up underneath his butt okay now let me just show you real quick 
the philosophy behind this for wrestling and why you would do any of these things. So in wrestling, put your hands in rest, referees. So we start here, right? And a lot of guys, my, the guy I wrestled with in college was my teammate, Jason Kukolo, who very, very, very high level Division One collegiate wrestler, multiple time conference champion. I think he was the best leg rider in the country, okay? And he always used to chop the arm and then get, get him to a, what's called a, a tight waist tilt, right? So he would, right, he goes deep, right? So the whistle, they make you start this way, right? They make you start like this, but then you go deep here. See how my knee comes in front, okay? And then I'm driving forward. Now, me, I don't like to chop. I come underneath here because remember how I said in the, my video for stand-up how he wants to block off here and not let me in? That's why, because people like me want to be here, okay? And I'm going to start driving forward with like a spiral ride or whatever, and I start driving them forward, and I'm using this tight waist. And see this knee's here? Now I start driving forward, driving forward, and then I can tilt them up like this. And you see how I'm facing 90 degrees from him? And I use this tilt in wrestling like this. I'm getting back points. And in wrestling, he's going to want to belly down. And when he does, this leg now is in. And once this leg is in, baby... I'm going to the power half. I'm going to the cross face to take them that way. And then once I start that and I get to here, the game is not officially over, but he's in a humongous amount of trouble. Once I get here, because I'm going to come up like a, like a horse, like I'm going to ride him like he's a horse where I'm pinching his far side because I don't want to fall off here and then give him, he gets his elbow between and give me position. Okay, so I want my knee on the far side okay so if you want something very specific on all kinds of types of leg riding do not think that this is something that's easy to learn leg riding is something that took me many years to get good at and i literally had like the best uh leg riders in the country and like my leg riding compared to kukulos is nothing he worked me <laughs> he worked everybody okay so how am I going to get to these positions? I'm not going to use the tight waist tilt, okay? What I'm showing you for that is that the pressure and how I rotated and kept my knee in front of his is the same as it is for a gut wrench, okay? So in freestyle wrestling, it's the same idea. I want the gut wrench, but I want to come all the way here because I'm going to lock my hands on his far rib. I'm already going to apologize to Dom for this because this is horribly, excruciatingly painful. Now, it depends on how you want to lock. He's bigger than me. So I'll probably go to an S-grip, but generally speaking, I don't. I go to here and I lock here. And what happens is I put my shoulder in his back and my hands are anchored here. So I'm rotating and it puts everything right here. Awful pain. My legs are engaged and I'm driving forward here. Okay. And I'm driving, driving, driving. See how my knee was in the place. And this is a gut wrench from freestyle Greco-Roman wrestling. I would, I would go all, I would roll all the way through. And in freestyle, he would have bailed. He would go flat. He would have bellied out like this and let's back up a little bit. So and this happens, let's say I just get a takedown. He doesn't want to turn. So I'm going to come up here, right? And I'm going to inch this over. See how my hands are here now? Now that they're locked, I'm going to specifically come all the way over here. Now I start driving, drive, 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 drive all the way through, right? And then he'll build, he'll go belly down again. Okay. So, now that you understand the mechanism of the corkscrew, takes forever to learn. Now let's combine it with the padlock. He's super tough. He doesn't want me in. He's going to go to turtle. I'm going to do two things. Knee's going to go in the butt. Um, turn this way. Wait, which way? Uh, this way. Uh, just kidding. Other way. <laughs> um, <laughs> move forward a little bit. Okay, so he doesn't want me in. He's going to put his elbows up high. I'm going to knee in the butt to get him forward and keep him in tight still. And I got him. Okay. I'm going to go and you don't have to do all those mechanics. I'm just teaching you why I do what I do. Okay. So I get the body lock. Okay. Now knee is blocking his front knee here. Okay. I'm on top of it. Now this foot comes over padlocks, turns his knee out. This is in. Now I got the leg in. I want to go that way if I can. Usually what happens is we rock this way and then I come back up and I start, I start coming in. If he tries to turn on me, I'll, I'll get, you know, to here. And now because we're on the overhook side, I've got my choke and 
if we rolled all the way through, I'd be on the underhook side, which you all know we all prefer, okay? Like I've said before though, and I use all these things, I am being taught all these things in jujitsu, the details of all of those things you can learn from people who are black belts on how to choke and everything. How to get legs in, I'm probably a pretty good person to teach you that. I've been doing that a very long time, have very good leg riding skills, okay? So, and how to get them in is just as important as, um, let's turn from the back now. Getting them in there is important as knowing what to do with them. And if he's tough, he's not gonna let you in there. So he's got a, he's got a couple options. He has to either sit way back or, you know, he's gonna try to stand up and get out of there. He can't kind of do both unless he knows how to get out like I showed you. So he's gonna be hiding his arms. I'm coming here up. Now that I've got this knee, I've got the, I've got the, the, uh, the gut wrench tight and I'm making his life miserable. My knee's in front. I come to the padlock, okay? What's this, what this does, I'm not gonna rip, rip him because his, knee, his hip hurts really bad, but it's turning that out. He cannot, no human being can just take that, you know, that way. He's got, something's gotta give. And because I'm blocking his front knee here, he can't, he can't get his base back. So this is why this works a well. Plus you also remember, I'm corkscrewing him. I'm putting a tremendous amount of pressure on his, uh, rib while I'm doing this. So yeah, I'm a real fun person to wrestle with. So I'm here turning. Now I got the leg in. Notice how I don't try to go to two legs right away. Okay, I'm not trying to go to two legs because if he tries to go to his back from here and I still have this body lock, he's not going to his back easily. Okay, he's just not. I can hang out here. I don't have anything to worry about. I can start taking his wrist. Now I could come here if I want. Okay, see how he's kind of like in jail, you know, is I'm like on him and I can come to the choke from, this, this is me, 100% all day long. If he's got the gi on, I'm coming there and I'm gonna, lights out, okay? So, um, so you can use the combination of the gut wrench with the padlock. What the gut wrench does <laughs> is it corks him, screw it, man, it gives you something to think about. It's uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable and when done right, like I learned my gut from Andy Saris, okay? Andy Saris, I've told you this a million times, but if you're new to the channel, Andy Saris was the head coach of the Greco-Roman Olympic wrestling team and uh, head coach of the uh, Greco-Roman world team. And he was one of my collegiate coaches. And we learned a lot of Greco and a lot of freestyle too. Same move, the, the, uh, the gut wrench. And when he taught it, it does say, the, the uh, first thing I showed you with the, the tight waist tilt, it's the same pressure. With the padlock I do, it's the same pressure. It's really that, that knee that's blocking here. That's, you know, that knee. Remember how I, I've showed you, I keep coming back to this when I get a takedown, how I, how I clamp people, right? So hopefully by now you're seeing the system, right? That there's a system for, for opening up somebody, right? Like when he's on the bottom, he does not want me in. So what do I do? I do things to get in, right? And you know, it's the same way with all these positions from the standing position. He doesn't wanna give me el his elbows away from his body. So I'm trying to take them away from him. I'm trying to pull his head down because he, cause I know that's where a person is weak, right? When they get out of position. So these, all of these things translate extremely well between all the styles of, of fighting, I think, in terms of not striking, but um, but grappling arts, you know what I mean? Judo, jujitsu, sambo, wrestling, like they're not as different as you think when you're on the ground even. The, the same principles kind of uh, apply as to how I want to get inside control on people. So I hope that that, uh, I hope you can see the angles and it helps. If you want to see more of it, just let me know. I, I don't mind showing you, you know, revising things and giving you a little bit more detail, okay? So uh, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for enduring the, the tape. I actually think it works better this way. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, share the content with other people if you can. Uh, keep commenting. I like the comments. It's helping to drive a lot of the, what we're doing. So uh, thanks again.